here you can see that we have a on b on meaning live is okay neutral is okay but f is missing all right guys so today i want us to look at something very important um we are going to use this rcd tester to check the functionality of our rcd okay so previously i made a video on how to test the rcd but that was just a basic test to find out if the rcd is actually working or not but then every rcd has an amount of fault current that can trip the rcd for instance, if you are using an RCD to protect people or users of electricity in your house or at home, the highest fault rating at which the RCD should trip should not be more than 30 milliamp. Okay, so how would you know if the RCD can actually trip at 30 milliamp? We are going to use this device to find out if the RCD rating is actually the correct rating, which is 30 milliamp, or if the RCD can trip um, even before 30 milliamp, or if it can trip only at a fourth current that is more than 30 milliamp. All right. It's something that um, even if you're a homeowner, you can buy it and then use it to check the functionality of your RCD by yourself. The few things that you need to know to be able to use it is what I'm going to show in this video. Okay, so uh, this one, we can use it to check how much fault current will cause the RCD to trip. Okay, then we can also use it to find out if there is a break in the neutral line. Okay. So first of all, this is how it works. Most of the time, it is with the sockets that we have uh, issues. For example, if there is a faulty gadget that leaks current to it, when you plug it, that gadget can give you an electric shock. But with an RCD in the wiring, the moment you plug in that faulty appliance, the RCD should cause the supply to go off. To protect whoever is using that gadget to be safe your rcd can be there all right but if it's not working properly you can still plug in that faulty appliance and then it will still shock you so once a while even if you are not an electrician you can get one of these rcd testers and then once a while you can use it to test your wiring or your sockets to make sure that in case there is an appliance that is faulty that you plug into your socket the rcd will perfectly work to protect you from receiving an electric shock okay so first we we'll have to check the rcd rating of the rcd in the wiring and then we'll use this device to also test to confirm the fault current or the trip current rating that is on the rcd that we are having here okay so this is the distribution board and then here we have two rcds one that is connected to all the sockets in the wiring and another one that is connected to all the lights in the wiring okay so if you look here the fourth current that should trip this rcd is 0 0.03 amps that is 30 milliamp okay that is what is stated on the rcd but how true it is we can only find out by testing so let's do that test to check if the rating on the rcd is actually correct and it's going to serve the purpose for which it has been put there you can see there are three indicators at the top labeled a b and c okay so a is for live so if the live conductor is continuous and is working all right a will light if the neutral is continuous and is working all right, B will light. And then if there is an earth connected and the earth is working all right, C should light. So if you plug this thing and then you have A and B on without C, there is no way we'll be able to test our earth fault current to the RCD. Before we can check the RCD with this device, 
we must have a b and c all working you plug it to the socket you want to test or any of the sockets in the wiring and then you switch on the socket here you can see that we have a on b on meaning live is okay neutral is okay but earth is missing and so because earth is missing when you check when you press the test button nothing will happen so this means that your rcd can be in the wiring but if you do not connect it to it properly when there is an earth fault nothing will still happen you see that the knob is regulated to 30 milliamp which is normal to have caused the rcd to trip but it is not tripping because there is no earth okay so now let me reconnect the head and then we see what happens now i have my head connected back so let's switch on again and see okay so this time you can see that a is on b is on c is also on okay so we want to verify on the rcd we have already seen 30 milliamp but I want to check if truly a 30 milliamp earth leakage fault can actually cause the RCD to trip. Okay, but for some reason, let's start uh, from a lower value to see if there is a fault current up to 10 milliamp. Let's check if it can trip that RCD. Okay, so here it means that for this number of seconds that i'm pressing the test button if there is an earth fault current only up to 10 milliamp the rcd will not trip let's see what happens if it goes up to 15 milliamp so up to 15 milliamps still the rcd will not trip within the shortest possible time let's move to 20 milliamp at 20 milliamp it will still not trip let's look at 25 25 will also not trip at the shortest possible time then let's move to 30. so this is where our concern is so at 30 milliamp which is actually indicated on the rcd if it doesn't trip then it means this rcd is not working up to standard and so we would have to replace it okay so let's check okay so immediately i press the test button the rcd went off at 30 milliamp so it means that at a leakage current of 30 milliamp the rcd trips as fast as you get so so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to leave this uh, regulator at 30 milliamp so this device will now represent a 40 gadget and then we'll see what happens when we plug it into the circuit okay so i'll have to reset the rcd that went off so let's say this is a 40 gadget that is leaking current from live to earth and the leakage is up to 30 milliamps so let's see what happens when we plug that gadget to the wiring so you plug the gadget and then you switch on immediately you switch on the rcd goes off okay if you like what you have just watched please share this video to as many people as you can thank you very much and see you again in my next video